We're ending battle at our international airports, smugglers trying to outwit customs and border protection officers. Tonight, CBS2 has exclusive access to items seized at JFK where customs is fighting back. Tony Aiello reports. Every plane that lands at JFK is another chance for customs to catch a smuggler. We're good at the game, too, and we play it well. From sandals with something extra in the sole. Cocaine was secreted within. To raw meat hidden in a suitcase. They say, oh, I forgot. There's all kinds of excuses. CBS2 got exclusive behind-the-scenes access at JFK. Hello, ma'am. How are you? To the Customs and Border Protection officers who spot and stop smuggling. So we encounter all types of different, you know, good concealments, tricky concealments, liars. In luggage and checked packages, officers have found candy bars and hair cream packages that contain heroin and plastic cats concealing opium. We've seen cocaine stuffed in buttons. Inside of each button, there's cocaine. The search for smuggled goods begins soon after landing, with random checks by a mobile x-ray unit team peeking into passengers' luggage. There are visits from drug-sniffing dogs and contraband checks inside aircraft electrical panels and other potential hiding places. Those guys are all, not only uh, Customs and Border Protection officers, they're also FAA-certified mechanics. Planes bring tons of cargo to JFK as well, including lots of fruit and vegetable from the Caribbean, like this plantain that wasn't a plantain. Made of fiberglass, it concealed cocaine. That's how ingenious they are. Where's your declaration? Inside the terminal, customs officers look for drug couriers who ingest pellets of narcotics. You got to use your experience, use your, uh, your skills at detecting behavior, you know, nervous behavior, as well as, you know, your gut instinct. <laughs> Travelers also encounter the Beagle Brigade, sniffing for banned food products. Okay, this is barbecued pork. Meats can bring disease. Remember swine flu? And grains may have invasive pests such as the destructive capra beetle. Officer Enid Carruth says a surprising number of travelers try to smuggle live birds, often in cardboard tubes hidden under their clothes. People think they're clever, but they're not so clever. Confiscated food goes to the grinding room, much to travelers' dismay. They really get livid, and then they get, they cry. They really cry. It's an endless effort to keep out the contraband travelers try to bring in. At JFK, Tony Aiello, CBS2 News.